today in an informed session with Brenda Miller, I realized that I have no idea, but my personal email was linked to my LinkedIn account. Mm -hmm. And I have tried several different ways to make that change and I can't seem to do it. So I'd appreciate your help today. Let's go to your LinkedIn account. You can click on your name and photo in the left navigation or go under the me icon. We're going to get to your account. And then as soon as you get there, I'm going to have you click on contact info. So the contact info is right next to Detroit yep. metropolitan area. And then you're going to click on the pencil yep. icon in the top of the contact info. It's a great pencil icon there. Okay, now we're going to click on the yep. little box next to your email address. Box next to that with the arrow on it. Click on that. And that will take us to your privacy and settings. So I certainly could have started at privacy and settings, but I like to take you like where it is to start with. The way that this works, Cindy, is you can have multiple email addresses associated with your LinkedIn, but the one that is designated as primary is the one that sits inside the contact info. So your secondary email, it looks like an, a verification link has been sent to your forum. It's probably buried right now. So what I would do if I were you is click on resend verification link. Let's go back into my email. So we're going to click on the verify this link, which opens it back up into LinkedIn. You're going to put your LinkedIn password. It'll just put dots on screen as you're doing this. So I won't be able to see your password. Okay. So now we've kind of told LinkedIn, yep, I verified it. So I want you to go back through the same steps again. Click on your name or photo in the left navigation to go back to your profile. Click on contact info. We're going to click on the gray pencil icon and then click on your email address, the little box with the arrow next to it. And oh, now, there now you go. We'll click on make primary. Okay. I'm going to ask you for your LinkedIn password. If it, you yeah. have it and you're saved, it should remember it from there. Click on make primary. All right. Perfect. So now click to go back, close out of here. Yep. Close out of this window, I should say. Refresh your LinkedIn again. So click on that back arrow. And, and a lot of times we have to refresh because LinkedIn remembers where we were. It doesn't remember what we just did. So we're kind of like hitting the catch-up bottle it. saying, now click on your contact info again. Oh, Voila. there it is. So just so you're aware, Cindy, okay. at this point, you can still log in using your AOL email address to access this. So if that's the, the email and password you're using, you can use this. But the primary email is now what is visible in here. And you can log in using your primary email as well. Now, the good point about this is if people okay. want to do business with you, in other words, if they want to join Inforum, sponsor Inforum, find out about programming, they now have access to your Inforum email. They're not going to feel that weirdness of sending an email to your AOL. This is perfect. I also changed, um, you know, my, uh, so it is just a Cindy theme for my address. Lots of good tips this morning. And I really appreciate you helping me out with this today. My pleasure.